Ken from Coffee Crafters, and one of the things that happens quite often is customers will either send us beans to roast to uh, and send back to them so they can see what the coffee tastes like, or they will send us debris that they find in their coffee for us to try out in the dish owner, and that's what we have this morning. We thought, well, we're going to go ahead and test this for a customer, we'd do a live test, and here's what we have. He sent us five rocks that he pulled out of his uh, roasted coffee, and this is typically the type of debris that you find that comes off the drying pads uh, for the beans. So I went out and uh, we had 13 pounds of uh, roasted coffee sitting out in the shop, so I'm just going to throw these five rocks in there. Um, going to mix it up and turn on the desoner. So we always want to turn it on first, the fan's going to be running. and. We'll dump the coffee in here and we don't have to dump it in at a slow rate. We could just dump it all in. And we'll see if we captured his rock. All right, so we are almost done. Cool. All right, so let's pull the lid off and see what we found inside. So we'll tool, pull the cap of the destoner off and see what we have in here. There's one, two, three. Where are the other ones in there, Bryce? You see them? Four. Four. And. And five. So we captured them all. So and that's, that's really typical of what we find. And one of the things you'll find when you, when you turn the destoner off, sometimes some of the lighter beans will fly up. I just turned the destoner off just for a second, turn it back on, let the uh, beans fall off the cap. And also some of the higher density beans will also stay on there. So after you sort out the debris, um, you can take, the, take this out and then dump the good coffee back in into the rest of your coffee and you'll be ready to go.